morning everyone. Well, we're here at Quinta del Sol, we call it QDS, and this is our studio in Mexico here that we use for all of our shows. So I thought I'd start out with giving you this wonderful tour. And we've got Laverne here, who's actually the director of all of our shows, and she's gonna show us around. So we'll take you inside. pomegranate tree. Hi. We haven't done this before, huh? No. <laughs> cool. Feels like a reunion or something because it's been a, whatever, a few weeks since you've moved out. Yeah, um, I, I used to live here in this house and this was the studio house and it, it still is the studio house. But um, yeah, it's just been a few weeks, as you said, since since I've moved out and over to Quantico. And yeah, yeah, and even our relationship feels new too. I mean, housemates, and um, even though we're still involved with the studio team, it feels some, something like brand new in my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Because you know, there's the joining every single day and just the real closeness physically. And then, of course, we've got the shows as this. Excuse me, as this backdrop. And now yeah. it's a little different. But yeah. Yeah. So what were you feeling to do today? Well, I'd love to take everybody inside and show them around the studio. Maybe we'll run into some of our other crewmates. And okay. Yeah. Maybe right. you could just give us a tour, Laverne. Okay. Well, maybe we'll start here because this is a cool spot on the property. Um, our pool, which has only been in for about a year now, but uh, it's really beautiful to, as a like a joining place for the house and mm. across the way we have like a, a little bungalow it's not occupied right now but it's just a yeah coming together place for the houses and and then we've got over here uh, just a table that we uh, after our Sunday shows and our online retreats oftentimes we'll come together there and and have a meal and and talk about how things went and mm. <clears throat> just like a recap recap of um, of the day. I remember when I first came down here to Mexico, actually, there were colors everywhere. Just every color, like this, this big yeah. yellow house. Yeah, and the flowers. And sounds even, like it's just such a happening place and like everybody's just such a, like a, in a joyful flow. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really love that. Yeah, I think it probably, you know, David said this many times, like the people here are even reflective of that vibrancy. They're very happy, they're content peaceful they're so helpful like if you ever get lost even if we don't even mm. speak the same language it's like there's something beyond the words that we can connect with here with the people mm. it's a, it really is such an honor it's like you know they don't need the course in miracles you know they are present they are in the present moment and they're this reflection showing up in our minds of that of that state of mind okay And we have Soren, our cameraman, with us. He's stepping out behind the camera, too, so that he can share about his experiences. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. This is it. It's just exploding with Yeah. It was waiting beauty. for you. <laughs> Did you guys do this? Yeah. You we... shouldn't have. <laughs> mm. This is actually one of my favorite parts of this house, because there's like a different color rose bush everywhere you look. There's one behind you there not blooming at the moment, but it's ready to. And mm -hmm. then there's this one, which is mm -hmm. just bursting. Yep. Pink and orange, and <laughs> they've all got their, their place here in the garden. Here's a really beautiful one. Whoa. Mm, try that one. Mm. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, and yeah. as, as Laverne was saying, there's this beautiful view of the lake, which as we'll, we'll see in a few minutes when we go up to the balcony there, but this is your vista, like this is your workspace. 
And I have to say too, the sunshine is fantastic, but I just love the storms here as well that roll in and they, they just have this power to them, which I feel is, is sometimes reflective of the intensity that passes through us. So I feel like I'm just appreciating the rainy season right now and, uh, and just the, yeah, almost the, it's so raw. Yeah. It's wonderful. <sighs> okay. okay, come on in. Welcome to Quinta del Sol. So this is the part of the house that probably nobody on the online show sees much, if at all. Right, so, I mean, this is the studio house, but you guys live here. Yeah. I used to live here. Yeah. Like, what is that like, actually, living in the studio? Well, you know, the words that were coming to mind this morning just about this place and, and what we do here is like that, let thine eye be single, mm. uh, quote, that really we get to like dedicate our lives to this. And this seems to be about a studio and seems to be about Spiri, our, you know, our, our projects and our life together. But it's no, it's about waking up and we're using everything, all of these props to do that with. So it's like we joke, if we ever think we're doing a show or producing shows, then we've missed the point. <laughs> It's like, no, we're here because we want to wake up. And the Spirit is showing us how we let thy night be single. Like, <clears throat> we want to clear everything out from our minds that might be standing in the way of our relationship. And I know you and I used our relationship like that here. And oftentimes, we were joining in the morning. OK, I had a bad night. I couldn't sleep. Or you know, there, I feel there's something between you and I. I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to put the thoughts out there. I feel like. That's how we're using all these relationships, even with the studio team now. You know, before our morning shows, we join, and after our shows, we join. And if we need to, in the middle of our shows, we're going to join because, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we want, we want our eye, eyes to be single. And so we want everything cleared of that. And even just in terms of, you know, other distractions, other, you know, if certain projects aren't supporting our main project, which is, mm -hmm you know, our shows, then it seems like it just naturally falls away. And if it doesn't, it's just because the spirit is saying, no, there's still something here for you. There's still lessons. There's still relationships that um, are helpful to you. And, and I even feel like our relationship, it still seems to be here, even though you've moved to another house. And, and I've just really cherished that. Mm -hmm. I yeah, do. I do too. Thank you. Uh -huh. yeah, I just love what you're saying there, where the spirit orchestrates everything with the perfect configuration of people in the perfect place. Like, here's your main focus. In fact, the inspiration, like bursting, like that rose bush inspiration, was to share with everybody that this actually is the core of what we're doing, the very core. And I feel like I feel that in my core, yeah. you know, there's such a, a joy with that. Yeah. And just like looking at the orchestration of it all, like, aside from these other projects like Soren here behind the camera has a huge part in the video editing aspect of everything and of course behind the camera you can't do this without the cameras you can we do it without the cameras anyway mm -hmm. but like when the cameras are rolling you guys get to see it all so just that orchestration and suddenly of course I need to link up with Soren for a number of things in our projects so the the link is given and then of course you and I have had just such a healing healing relationship mm -hmm. like just yeah I just I feel it so deeply as yeah. well yeah so with such a gratitude Soren would you like something um. going through my mind this morning and then the other line that's there is um no circumstance that comes my way will ever move this solid place okay that's good because there's not actually black tea in the book <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly like you said with the inspiration leading the way because that's been the shift actually like if we talk about using these shows for healing for me, I feel like it's not just when I come here, you know, there's the nervousness that can still come up that I said, I'm feeling a little nervous this morning, Laverne. And then that 
passes into it like this, and underneath it is this grand excitement that's like, wow, like you don't even know what's happening, you don't even know. <laughs> but it's, I feel like the healing for me has been consistent. You know, I've been the host on the shows for the seven months that we've been doing it, or co-host, you know, just as it's been changing itself and evolving. But it, yeah, it really feels brand new because there's more shows coming in. There's some shows falling away, and it's. I love that everything just reflects that shift. Right. Actually, right. It yeah. like it helps the mind rest in a way, or helps my mind rest in a way. It's like ah, okay, you know, hold on, and nothing's going wrong. It's just you know the next configuration settling into place yeah. for for more expansion. Right. I can remember it being very intense sometimes or, you know, as, as you mentioned, you know, when we joined in the mornings, oh, I couldn't sleep. It was, you know, this is rising through the mind for healing. And I feel like if, if this link wasn't given, then it would have been stuffed again. Or, you know, maybe that's not the case, but I really can't describe how helpful it was to just know that this relationship was a safe place for me to go through all of that. And then to have the backdrops of all of our projects and ninjas for a while and of course the shows and then joining every Sunday and just extend through it. And, and then as you said, you know, halfway through the shows, it'd be like, Lord, I need to join, you know, like, and everybody would go through that as well. I watched all the presenters go through it too. So it just feels like very, very rich backdrop for healing our relationship, this house, the studio, the shows. Yeah, I think that's what sets it apart, too, um, from a studio out in the world, is that we are using everything for that healing, and we are, like, in the middle of the shows, joining if we need to join so that we can really stay clear for, for the shows, as well as with one another. Like, that is such an important component of this, and that's what makes it different. Why is this studio so different? That would be the one thing that I could see. Mm. Yeah, I love what you're saying because a demonstration of that, of exactly the way this is working, is that day that I think I was sitting in the host chair and you had gone in to prepare for your show into your room, which is right next to the studio. <laughs> and you came out and I was sharing with Peter, I was like, something just doesn't feel, to, you know, like there was something on my heart and you said, it's you, get in the chair. It's you. It's you right now. We've got to do this spirit together. And it was like such a pure demonstration of this is the healing that this is what these shows are for. It's there's something that's present right now. And let's look at it together with everybody as a way of helping each other through it mm -hmm. in a very transparent way. And I did, you know, it was this beautiful pop. So, yeah, and I remember just that day, just so many people in the online show was, were just you know, chat, putting things in the chat room. Oh, that was so awesome. I love that. I felt that healing. Like, I felt that healing that was occurring. And it just seems like, wow, there's a theme in all of these shows today just because that is what is in the mind. You know, that's what's going through the mind. And then we just, all we need to do is just show up for our, for our part. Mm. Mm. The present healing. Mm -hmm. The present healing. Yeah. Mm. So Soren, I'm curious, what can you tell us about your experience with this whole setup in the studio and living in the studio and just doing the shows every Sunday? Well, there's been a lot of healing in there too for me. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it's a different, it's a very different environment from a professional TV studio. <laughs> so. I mean, and I think the the biggest difference is that I cannot I cannot know in advance, you know, how this is going to be. So, yeah. So the biggest healing for me has been, you know, to let go of what I think I know, and uh, and the big challenge for me is to you know to be open to to what I don't know and to be open to this collaboration between all of us here and and the whole community and uh, and just 
you know, constantly letting go of, of my thoughts about this and that. And so, yeah, it is a... I think, you know, when I came here, before I came here, I was living alone. And um, I was actually in the middle of doing my own thing, you know, my own movie. And it just felt very dry and very, um, yeah, not in, I was not really inspired. And, and coming here, it puts a totally new dimension to, you know, what movie making is and television is. And because as Levan says it, you know, it, this is not really about the TV shows and it's not really about the movie, but, but what comes up in my mind and being able to let that go and, you know, to feel into, you know, what the guidance is and take corrections from you <laughs> and you. <laughs> so, so that, yeah, that's been a big change. But, you know, I feel there is a lot of depth in it and I feel there is a lot of uh, healing, you know, of the mind because the mind is really only preoccupied with the past, you know, I can see that, you know, I can see all the stuff that is coming up in my mind is coming, you know, from either the past or the future and just to stay in this present moment with you and, you know, that's been a big help, you know, to actually become present in my own mind. So, it is a precious opportunity to be here. Yeah, the whole studio vibe feels like it, it's, it keeps like inviting us into the present moment like when you're on camera you're present if you're uh, if you're even behind the camera you know you're really present too because it's like we've had these days where we thought oh yeah we don't have any shows coming from Mexico you know sort of more of an idea of being a kick back day or you know like kicking back and not really paying so much attention. And those seem to be the days when things are really happening that we're having to like really be focused, like maybe Camus is having issues and they're needing support or you know we, we have things happening here in the studio or someone shows up and needs to be on camera. So it's like, okay, we didn't think this it was gonna be this kind of day, but, but it is, you know, like we need to be fully present and that we have to lead with that rather than thinking it's something else. Mm. Yeah. Hi. Hi. We've got some visitors. Come on in. <laughs> well, this is Pete and Linda, <laughs> and they are now part of the QDS studio team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pete is the producer. I say that in quotation marks because it's not really what it's about, as we've been talking about, but maybe you could just tell us what it is that you are bringing to the shows, like where your heart really lies with this. Yeah, well, I'm behind the computer, so I, mean, I kind of like oversee the, uh, the room and all the participants in there, and it's just really communication all the time between Soren on the camera and Laverne, who's kind of like managing many of the people in the studio and also an overall direction. And, uh, and for me, it's just staying really focused all the time of like, making sure I feel linked in with Soren, like are we feeling the same thing, am I meant to switch cameras and things like that, and the same with Laverne, just making sure, it's always communication, oh, I'm talking about communication. Make sure I'm heard. <laughs> <laughs> so symbolic. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, it, it just feels like it's totally about communication and not really about getting shows done, but it's, we're always checking in with, with each other, like, do we feel clear? Was there anything that was not said that we have to say to kind of like be able to feel clear in the studio? And so, yeah, a lot of communication goes on every day. Like we have these calls, tech calls with Camus before we start the shows and, you know, making sure we're on the same page and everything feels clear for the day. But, and then, you know, sometimes we, we all feel in the, like we're really peaceful in the studio and it feels really light. And, 
that you still have to stay so present all the time because something will drop in, the power will go out, or you know, something like that will happen. It's totally unexpected. And so, yeah, it's just, it's just a, always staying really present and really linked in mind. And that's what I feel like it's all about. I think it's all the more reason why, in, in my heart, it's like, I just want to stay so crystal clear with everybody. You know, there's nothing too small that um, can stand in the way of my relationship with you or Pete or Linda or Soren because, you know, we're, we're in that cake part. So we need to be like beams of light mm -hmm. in that, in that, you know, whether we're in front of the camera or behind the camera because it's felt, you know, we want it to be just pristine. Yeah, it feels like it's been such a major, major thing where, you know, we used to hold so many gatherings in the community where people could come join us, like for Sunday services or whatever it was we had going on or a movie night or something like that. And now it feels so much more intimate because it's, it's every week, it's um, really kind of all of us in the community, like so many of us going into the depth of it, what it is we're experiencing in the moment. And we join with everybody else at the same time on Zoom. You can really feel that presence and the connection. And so it kind of feels like even many of the ones who have come to join us recently in community had first been joining us uh, on these, on the shows, on the online <laughs> retreats. <laughs> it feels like, but it's, it's the perfect way to really start because, you know, um, you can really get a taste for what it is that, we, that we're doing here and, and, and do you, does anyone really feel connected, like do people feel connected with what it is we're doing? Come get a taste through the, the shows mm -hmm. that we do and like, do you feel that presence? Do you want to go deeper when you, when you feel that? And, and then there's the call to come and spend more time. And it feels very natural. There's a natural way of coming in. Because there's also like, there's been some who've visited for devotional stays before and they, they get here and they go, oh, this wasn't what I was expecting somehow. You know, they get, get kind of shocked. But no, I feel like these shows are the perfect introduction to come and get, get a really good taste of what it is we do. And it just feels like we're expanding. Like it's just not limited to these houses. Like the, yeah, like the, the sharing of the miracles and joining in that one purpose of the mind. It just expands globally. So, wow, Laverne, would you like to show us the rest of the house? Yeah, maybe take I'd us love up to. to the studio. Sure. Oh, great. Okay, Soren, you want to join us? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got the. Go ahead. Right behind you. Okay, you don't need to do anything down here first. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's just head in here first because this is part of our studio too. Oh, great. Um, <clears throat> so when we have our uh, show hosts and hostesses arriving, um, we have, and studios have what's called a green room, and this is where they just are wait, waiting until their time to, to go into the studio. So um, it, mostly they're meditating down here, uh, mostly they're uh, talking about their show, and mm -hmm. as the director, what I do is come down here and just check in with them, you know, what, what's going on, is, has your theme changed, or anything we need to be aware of? that the tech team needs to be aware of in terms of any changes or maybe they have a clip or something they want to share. So, so it's just, you know, really uh, an opportunity for, the, for me to connect with them and feel connected with them. So that's part of it too. Like we want to invite them into this vibe that we have here at the studio um, as part of our, the shared experience that we're in. Mm. So yeah, and this used to be your room. <laughs> Welcome to my old bedroom. <laughs> old bedroom. <laughs> now we're really getting to know each other. <laughs> yeah, right. And this is uh, where all the magic happens. We're just going to head upstairs here. This is the sleeping studio. That's the way that it appeared in my mind when I was feeling like, I want to take you up into the studio, but it's like it's asleep now. So you see it when it's alive and everything's on and the cameras are running. and. And this is what it looks like when it's sleeping. And one of the best views in the house. True. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. really love this area too because this is a perfect demonstration of the way that we live. So this is a living room. This used to be 
the movie room. You can see there's a large TV behind you where we get to watch all of your wonderful faces now for the shows. But this room used to be just used for general purposes like it would in any other house. And then all of a the sudden there was this inspiration for the shows and it was felt, let's transform it into a studio. And so the transformation begins and the props come in and I just love that that's the way that we live just with following the inspiration and letting that lead the way, then the form just really lines up to support that. And so, oh, this is now the studio house and... And, um, and we still get to watch movies in here. It's like that re, uh, repurposing, like it's still our movie room as well as, you know, the studio room, um, that it's just, that's what supports. And so symbolic that it's, you know, like we're sitting on top of this hill again above a lake and, and there's a feeling of, you know, being above, above the battleground, so to speak, and that we're, you know, we have a, a clear sort of alignment with the spirit, like this beam, a light beam that is, is emanating out through, you know, the digital broadcast through the whole universe. Like mm. this is what this house seems to to represent in, in my mind anyway, like, wow, how cool is that? And I get to show up as the, as the director, but I only feel like I am wearing that role very loosely because at any moment I might, it might shift to something else, you know, and, and, you know, of course there's always some maybe feeling of, oh, you know, I'm missing out or, you know, I hate to leave that role behind, but wow, there's something new coming in. I just want to go in that direction because it's always been, you know, that whatever that direction is, if it's led by the spirit, it's like for my expansion of my mind, you know, it's for my joy, joy and happiness. And, and so when David even said, oh, Laverne, how do you feel about, you know, being the director of the shows, even though I'd never done something like that before, I'm like, I'm going to say yes to that, you know, because David, you know, I've trust, I trust David a hundred percent, you know, that he really knows my best interests. I don't always know that, but I trust, you know, him and I trust, you know, certain ones in the ministry that I can just go in that direction. And it's always been, there's this expansion of, in, of my mind and, and, you know, I just drop the roll off like a, like a loose tunic. There it goes. Another, another roll comes in until... At some point, I just step into heaven with no more rolls. Mm. So this is our our uh, studio, and like uh, Kristen was mentioning, we we have three bedrooms up here too. So we have, I I stay up here. Soren lives up here, and uh, Pete and and Linda are upstairs. So it's not it's doubling also as a residence as well as it being a studio. Mm. Okay, we'll head downstairs. Great. Patty, uh, no say, um, Peter. Me, me, appetition. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you guys so much for for sharing this space with us today. Sharing where you live, where we live, how we live, and really what the studio thing is all about, yeah. what these shows really are and the online retreats. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say just to that too, because it's like, it helps me to like reinforce it in my mind of, you know, that it's don't take things for granted. Mm -hmm. You know, like this backdrop is being set up for, for me, you know, for my mind and to support that. And yeah, I, I feel like even today, you coming over here is just an opportunity to just like re remember that in my mind like I don't want to forget this mm. like what this is all for and and just the joy of it like if it wasn't joyful like why would we do it <laughs> like if there wasn't something there in our relationship or you know the relationships of all of us here together why would we do it it wouldn't you know, we could go out in the world and make money <laughs> and do it. And that's, that, so there's something that's far beyond that, that, you know, you can't put a price to. We tried that. <laughs> we tried that. We have all tried our various flavors of that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, and we're here. And here. Yeah. I just was curious too about just for you, what, what this new show, 
why are you stepping into this? I know there's a lot to share about the ministry, but for you, just in your spiritual growth, and what does it mean? What, why are you doing the gift? Hmm. I think it had to do with that lightning bolt moment that I had with Jackie and Suzanne. We were sitting, we were sitting in a cafe down at Chapala talking about what From the Bottom Up was. And I felt in that moment like I'd found my special function, actually. And there's a lot that I'm aware of just in my experience with hosting the shows that you know, there's a real deep desire to be authentic, and it seems like a strong mask against that, which I'm just so pleased to say I feel has been dropping consistently, like the shows have been used in a beautiful way. And then there's a passion for awakening that I want to share that I find I don't often feel safe to share, actually, because of the way that the patterns are in my mind that are still moving through, but this feels like a very visible, transparent way to share what's been given me for my awakening. Somebody told me once that projects were my pathway to God, and at first I was like, you couldn't have given me something better than that, <laughs> but we were speaking before the cameras were on. And I was just sharing with you that there just feels like there's some deep shifts around responsibility and not putting the roles first. And I found myself in a joining yesterday where I had a lot of emotion around coming to somebody without the project in front of me. There was this deep longing, actually, is what was underneath the fear, but there was this deep longing to stay open-hearted, like to not let myself get stuck in what are you doing for me today? And I feel like the projects are part of this massive, massive undoing for me that nothing else, no other facet of my experience can give me. And so I've been given PR to share about them. And I've just found very naturally because the Spirit's given to me that I feel these things in my heart. When somebody says the sound of silence, I'm there already. Like, oh, I can feel it. It's not a voluntary thing. It's like, oh, yeah, wow, yeah, I can feel that too. And then I can't help but spill over about it because that's what the Spirit's given me to extend through and to invite others into, perhaps, you know, like to just share. I actually came into this ministry through an event I had no idea who David Hoffmeister was, and I showed up at an event one day with some friends of mine who were course students that said, oh, come along, and I said, oh, he likes the course, I like the course, what can go wrong, this will be great. And I was immediately touched, I immediately knew who David was, just by his very presence, and I was so moved by the gathering, the authenticity with the way that everybody lived, that I went to the gathering the next day, which happened to be Easter. I told my family, I can't stay, I gotta go do this. And it was very shortly after that that I was living in Mexico here in community. There was just a very rapid recognition of that. And so I don't know how much that plays into it as well, but. Well, I just had a thought for me too. Um, the first, one of the first times that I uh, met David uh, was at the monastery in Utah where I went to a gathering and I had an experience with a, with a movie that, that David was sharing, you know, where I felt like I was in the movie and I was in an experience, you know, like a mystical experience in that, in that movie gathering that I took back with me, you know, uh, when I went back to Idaho, and it never left me actually. And the the movies, you know, and kept calling to me, and the Movie Watcher's Guide to Enlightenment called to me, and um, and then it was I ended up having that as my project, you know, MWGE, where I was able to really like dive deep into the commentary with the movies and the movies themselves, and. 
and it was like it was taking me into an experience and and so you know lately I've been doing the movie gatherings at La Casa de Milagros on Saturday and uh, I always just feel like it's just for for me to be in that experience and to invite others into that experience and even in our relationship today talking about it it's like we get into an experience together that is like it's a shared experience like others can, are invited into that and and it's just a reminder even having this discussion with you today of of how there have been these pivotal moments in my spiritual journey where there's been maybe a lot of darkness and healing that that I was going through where someone like you comes in and we're in, we get into this experience together where I forget actually what it is I think I'm leaving behind or you know whatever that I I've had to really work through a lot of these deep beliefs and sacrifice on this journey and I feel like a lot of people have that and and so it's like no actually you know mm -hmm. Look at this. Look at this relationship. Be in this experience. It's always an invitation, but it's like we can invite other people into this no matter where they are. Mm. Yeah, and I feel like these shows, there's something about the element of live or you're on camera that bring, really brings it all up for you. <laughs> but in the most wonderful way because that's what we're wanting actually we're wanting this to come up and out so there's I feel for myself I I'm wanting to use this as a platform for me to share more authentically actually to come into this place where I can really feel myself speaking what the spirit would have me speak and therefore just coming into this deeper peace in my own heart like I'm in my function I'm in my function, mm -hmm. and therefore I can extend that to those around me and reinforce it in my mind. So I was just thinking as we're coming to a close here how it's actually impossible now to separate the studio and the shows and everything from the healing in my mind. They feel very, very, very intertwined, and there's still pieces that wash, of course. And, yeah, I guess just the gratitude for as Soren was sharing before, that there is this deep purpose underneath, because otherwise there's no depth to it. So it's, it's this richness in using the studio and the shows and the online mm. retreats. It really is all for this flushing and coming into the deeper, let thine eye be single. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Thank you so much. You're over. welcome. Thank, Thank you, you. Soren. Yeah. <laughs>